now we are going to discuss the problem related to cayley hamilton theorem main importance of this theorem is to find inverse of a given non singular square matrix and also compute the higher powers of this matrix we know that uh, the statement of cayley hamilton theorem here we have a matrix and ask you to verify whether the given matrix satisfies cayley hamilton theorem or not and hence find its inverse and uh, higher powers of the matrix how will you find it what is the working rule to find out uh, cayley hamilton theorem first you need to find out characteristic equation after finding the characteristic equation you will replace lambda with matrix a and the constant one is replaced with an identity matrix and the zero is replaced with null matrix here there is uh, no need to find out any eigen values and eigen vectors of the matrix the only thing you need to know matrix multiplication definitely you have to be thorough with matrix multiplication when two matrices are given and they are of the same order then you have to go by rows into columns rows into columns respectively let us see the solution to the problem first we consider the characteristic equation that is the determinant of a characteristic matrix and it is equating to zero which implies that the determinant of uh, this characteristic matrix and it is obtained by adding negative lambda to the principal diagonal elements of this matrix and it gave us a cubic equation in terms of lambda that is uh, strictly in the form of lambda cube negative s1 lambda square plus s2 lambda negative s3 is equal to 0 we need to find uh, s1 s2 s3 where s1 sum of principal diagonal elements s2 sum of minus of principal diagonal elements s3 the determinant of the matrix uh, let us uh, find out them first one s1 sum of principal diagonal elements 2 plus 2 plus 2 that is 6 s2 sum of uh, minus of uh, principal diagonal elements the first principal diagonal element is 2 to get its minor eliminate 2 containing row and its corresponding column you have this minor later you have the principal diagonal element 2 to get its minor eliminate 2 containing row and its corresponding column you have this minor finally the last principal diagonal element is 2 to get its minor eliminate two containing row and its corresponding column you have third minor and uh, simplify this you get the resultant value of s2 is uh, only 9 finally you have to find s3 that is the determinant of this uh, square matrix along first row expansion we have the result as only 4 after computing s1 s2 s3 substitute these values in this equation already we have found that s1 s6 s2 9 s3 4 we have the characteristic equation regarding given matrix a lambda cube negative 6 lambda square plus 9 lambda negative 4 is equal to 0 but our main objective is to find the inverse of the matrix and a power 4 According to Cayley Hamilton theorem, every square matrix satisfies its own characteristic equation. That means, where we have lambda, lambda is directly replaced with matrix A, and uh, constant 4 is replaced with uh, 4i, and 0 is replaced with null matrix. Now, you have to find A inverse, A power 4. There is no need to verify this one. Already we have. 4i equals to a cube negative 6a squared plus 9 times of a. This is one matrix equation. It is obtained from the matrix polynomial equation according to Cayley Hamilton theorem. To find a inverse, multiply with a inverse through this matrix equation. 4i times of a inverse equals to a cube a inverse negative 6a square a inverse plus 9a a inverse. We know the property of matrix multiplication 4 times of a inverse i times of a inverse only a inverse a cube a inverse a squared negative 6a plus 9 times of a times of a inverse only 9i to find a inverse first we have identity matrix i 
that is 100010001 given matrix a it is only the given matrix you need to compute a square that is a times of a matrix multiplication is well defined when the number of columns in the first row equals to the number of rows in the second matrix to get the first element for matrix a square you have to multiply the first row into this first column 2 times of 2 4 negative 1 times of negative 1 1 times of 1 1 add these elements you get 6 and place 6 here at the position of first row first column and proceed to the rest of elements of uh, matrix a square now we have obtained matrix a square as the first row element 6 negative 5 5 second row elements as negative 5 6 negative 5 third row entries 5 negative 5 and 6 to get Fourier inverse a square is replaced with this matrix negative 6 times of matrix a plus 9 times of this identity matrix simplify this you have the first row first column element will be 6 negative 12 plus 9 and proceed to the rest of the elements of this Fourier inverse therefore Fourier inverse 6 plus 9 15 negative 12 3 and proceed to the rest of the elements one can get this matrix therefore a inverse equals to 1 upon 4 times of this uh, resultant matrix finally we need to find a power 4 so already we have matrix polynomial equation a cube equals to 6a square negative 9a plus 4i without loss of generality multiply with matrix a throughout this matrix polynomial equation a power 4 will be 6a cube negative a square plus 4a so a cube already there so simplify it in terms of a square and a and i 6 times of 6a square negative 9a plus 4i negative 9a square plus 4a you have 27a square negative 50a plus 24i 27 times of a square is already there just we have written here negative 50 times of matrix a plus 24 times of this matrix simplify this one you have 27 times of 6 162 negative 200 plus 24 this is first row first column element and proceed to the rest of entries in this matrix a power 4 after simple computation you have the resultant matrix whose elements the first row entries are 86 negative 85 85 second row elements negative 85 86 and negative 85 finally we have third row elements 85 negative 85 86 so this is the process to obtain inverse of a given non-singular square matrix and higher powers of the matrix by means of Cayley-Hamilton theorem.